All right, so I decided I'd pull the uh, face off of the oven. Uh, it's just a couple of screws on the bottom there, and then that that uh, metal face piece comes off. There's some insulation that's glued to the inside. Just pull that off. We'll re-glue it when we, after we get it painted. And then I also pulled the uh, vent, um, the exhaust vent off. And a couple things I'm going to do with that. Obviously, I'm going to paint both of those pieces, but um, I'm also going to put... I found some wasp nests up in here. If you remember my video from my uh, furnace, I uh, put some screen material uh, at the exhaust. So I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm just going to cut a piece of screen and prevent the uh, wasps and mud daubers and stuff from coming in. Um, it won't uh, prevent the flap from opening and closing. It'll just keep the wasps and stuff out. This is the screen material I'm going to use. It's a, a leaf a blocker for rain gutters. <clears throat> and uh, just cut it with your, it's, you know, just aluminum. So just cut it with your uh, aluminum scissors there. And then I'm going to notch out the corners so I can fold them in to make a small box uh, that fits inside that vent uh, fascia. That way the, uh, the vent flap can still open and close without uh, hitting this stuff. Notches there. Kind of hard to see. So now I can fold those corners in to create a little box. Okay, so there's the little box there. Just in order to make those bends, just get a piece of wood or something that's straight. Lay it on the edge and and uh, bend it over to get a nice clean straight edge there. I can go get this installed. All right, so just push that into place and then kind of bend the edges so they're flush with the uh, plastic uh, vent box that mounts to the outside. You don't have to do this, um, you know, with the kitchen vent taken out. You can just, you know, remove the the uh, vent cover from the outside and, you know, cut, cut your piece of screen and lay it to the inside like this and reinstall the vent cover from the outside. But since I had the I had the vent, the exhaust vent out. I figured I'd just do it from the inside here. That should help uh, keep the mud daubers and the wasps and bugs and stuff out. Got the vent sprayed. I'm gonna show you the the range, the burner top, and then there's the face of the uh, of the oven nice glossy finish turned out good so I say you know sanded everything down really well with uh, 220 sandpaper to get the gloss off um, and give uh, the you know the paint something to stick to so that took a little bit of time um, you know getting all the little crevices and stuff on the uh, range top and uh, this texture, I mean, you can see the texture on this, you know, just trying to get um, in between the, you know, the, the texture and stuff so the paint would have something to stick to. And this is the paint that I ended up using, the Krylon um, appliance epoxy. And it's got good coverage. I used the Rust-Oleum stuff uh, in the past and uh, it, it covers pretty well, but this seems to work a little bit better, and uh, we'll, we'll find out about durability, but um, from what I read, it, it seems to be a, a pretty good product. So that's the, the Krylon Appliance Epoxy. So it did uh, three coats, and you can't let it dry in between, so you just do one coat, turn around, second coat, turn around the third coat. So that seemed to cover uh, really well uh, with three coats. Finally, we've got, uh, well, it's not in yet, but check this out. Pretty excited about that. 
you got the slide out up there ready to go in. So that'll be in the next day or two. So I've just got a couple of things to finish up inside the camper and, uh, and then I can, I can start uh, working on getting the slide out bolted in and uh, you know, getting all the little odds and ends stuff that uh, needs to go along with that. So anyway, again, didn't get the slide out in today, but I got uh, made some good progress getting a couple other little things done that uh, needed to be done. And, uh, you know, when you're doing a project, things come up when you're, uh, you know, tearing something apart, you realize you got to do something else before you can do the thing you started to do. <laughs> so that seems like how this whole project's been going the whole time. Anyway, uh, I'm going to cut this video here and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Later.